I'm jumping into my first uh, Unreal 4 Engine DK2 demo. Now I've been waiting for this because they haven't supported the latest version of the Oculus Rift until literally just today and I didn't want to bother with the rolling back the older drivers so this will be the first time using an Unreal based engine game and the first time I believe doing a, a roller coaster with the DK2 so without further ado let's put the headset on and uh, see how it goes uh, immediately absolutely crisp <laughs> and zero latency no blur so well that's fantastic if uh, other UT based engine games run like this I've not even got the warning off the screen but this is uh, this is really crisp I've, I've, for some reason I'm uh, dislocated from the chair let's start things off there we go back on the chair absolutely about the reflection on the floor that is absolutely stunning as we go past we're on a miniature chair arranged around his sitting room which is a perfectly normal and common situation to be in oh the bookshelf texture it's absolutely gorgeous I love a bit of a bit of a shiny texture but it's reflecting the room as well on that texture in a really sort of diffuse way really nice I feel like I'm <laughs> I feel like I'm really high up because I'm a miniature person it feels like I'm 200 300 foot in the air this is what it's like for a fly on a chair in your sitting room. Oh, a picture. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> the pictures look really nice. The, the, they look really real. I'm supposed to be on a roller coaster, but I'm getting distracted by the pictures. Uh, well, this is absolutely incredible. The, the graphical fidelity, especially the... Um, the shading and the lighting and combined with this having almost no latency it's incredibly smooth I'm surprised how well this is running I'm running on a i5 um, 2500k overclocked a little bit and a GeForce GTX 760 oh god I really feel like a gravity is pulling me to the left it, that's really bizarre. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. They've uh, definitely uh, clean, done a good job cleaning the floor here because it's uh, absolutely spotless. But I have to say that graphically, I mean, it's quite a sparse room, but it's just the, uh, the lighting and the shading uh, that... The, and the texture work is so good combined with the um, the persistence I guess and it, well, the, the lack of blur and the quality of the head tracking it's really really good oh, I'm really excited for more UT engine stuff I, I've been waiting for UT stuff as I say because it not been supported in the uh, with the latest drivers for the for the DK2 and uh, I fiddled around with the UT engine myself a bit. Let's let's keep rolling again. I fiddled around with the editor a bit, and I've been looking at it. And wow, this is absolutely spectacular. American sockets there. The uh, obviously in some kind of American apartment. I just love how that texture. The wood is uh, picking up the light <laughs> as you go past it. How the light changes across it it's like a Ikea shelf and these uh, the sense of height is actually really disconcerting but the, these picture frames as well the way they're picking up the light from the window and the reflection off the glass on the front pane of them they just look, they look incredible The uh, through the mug, the track uh, layout's a bit uh, sort of snappy and jumpy. It'd be nice if this if this was a, a better designed roller coaster in terms of being smoother. But do you know what? I'm not getting any motion sickness or you know the the, the quality of the the implementation of the DK2 is absolutely unbelievable. 
Well, you've, you've got to try. This is yet another mind-blowing demo for the uh, for the DK2 and for virtual reality, really. You really do feel like I'm falling off to the side here, like I've been pulled down. It's just completely tricked my brain. Well, absolutely incredible. Oh, it's, uh, it's uh, someone's dropped a, a tea... Um, Dish for, for, a, for a mug on the floor. And that's what we're resting on. Well, if you if you haven't uh, done this yet, you need to download this right away. This is this is up there with in terms of uh, presence and feeling like the environment's a real environment. This is up there with Live for Speed and the Office, um, the, the the DK2 configuration utility. Absolutely stunning. Well, I'm I'm really excited for more UT engine content and uh, I'm definitely going to have to fiddle around with Unreal myself. It, of course you can get access to Unreal for it's only £15 a month uh, and it's an incredible game engine. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, thanks for watching this video. Uh, you've definitely got to get this. Definitely got to try it out. Uh, subscribe and like. I'm going to have a tea cake and a cup of tea to celebrate such an awesome demo and the future of Unreal-based VR experiences. Goodbye.